Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, TSP Rav Shiva. So here we have a Christian and a Muslim, or a bunch of Christians and Muslims, but the two main guys that are having a debate is a very old uh, Muslim gentleman. I'm not very old, but an elderly-looking man, and a young Christian guy with a group of Christians behind him, and they start accusing each other, or, you know, accusing the Christian guy, starts accusing the elderly Muslim's uh, prophet of having bad behavior and doing things that are not necessarily pious in any way. But uh, let's take a look at this man let's see why these two god-fearing uh groups of people end up coming down to fisticuffs i love using that term because it's so old fisticuffs so so yeah they're using fisticuffs and beating the hell out of each other and it starts a whole mob scene but this to me is why i don't talk about religion with people because it always ends up in a wwe match you know like the world wrestling or wwf whatever the hell it's called now i can't remember it's wwe wwf but it's like you know everybody starts to get into that mindset like oh, my, my christ said this and Prophet Muhammad said this. What? Are you crazy? And they start, you know, getting into this whole argument thing. But uh, let's get into the argument, guys. This should be fun. Hang on to your uh, seat. So no, he's interrupting. He's interrupting. No, he's interrupting. He's interrupting. He's interrupting. Bro, it's okay. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys caught that, but they had some kind of like alarm going off when he was saying it's the, that he's interrupting. That's pretty funny. It's like they have like some detection system set up for if somebody starts to uh, interrupt or something like that, which you probably need in real life too. You know, something that detects people being. It's, it should be in like some kind of asshole detection. You know, it's like this guy's being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this way like you figure out who all the assholes are and uh, weed them out but uh let's and, and you know when i say asshole it could be anybody an asshole is a wild card it has no no uh race religion or anything like that attached to it you anyone can be an asshole so let's just remember that okay let's go forward guys why are you interrupting calm down shake this is not becoming of a teacher. This is not becoming of a sheikh. Why must I teach you manners when you have grey hair? Seriously, why must I teach a man with grey hair manners? So, ladies and gentlemen, so, ladies and gentlemen, notice I have to raise my voice. Notice how much time that they have used up of mine. Did any of you hear him respond to my argument? I say shame on the Muslims and shame on Mohammed for teaching a capricious and fickle and fickle. Notice is triggered. Notice is triggered. Okay, before they go any further, I just love that alarm, I have to say, because now they're both being assholes. So it's like the alarm just, eh, eh, eh. it's going like super crazy right now. And uh, yeah, asshole detection, asshole detection. But uh, it's so funny that I always say this about Christians. They go into any place on any corner and just start talking shit and condemning people to hell. Think about this, guys. Let's say you're on your way to work in the morning and you've already had a bad night or you have a bad situation at home and there's an irate asshole at home that's always condemning you. Do you think that when you walk down the street and you hear this guy, this Christian guy, condemning you because you don't believe in what he believes and whatever you believe he, think is wrong, he thinks is wrong, so you're going to get judged and condemned at the same time? Yeah, that's why a lot of these guys get knocked out. I mean, you know, just being human, you know, if you hear somebody saying you're going to go to hell because you don't believe what I believe, a good fist to the face usually ends that situation and gives you some gratification. Of course, that's not the realistic approach to this. There's always a peaceful solution to this is just walk away. All right. But uh, sometimes you get that that moment where you just want to put that fist in that face and just end it right there and be like, that's it. I've had enough pop. You know, and uh, but, you know, things don't work out good like that anyway. It creates, as you will see here in a moment, it turns into something much bigger and not much more fun either. So let's uh, enjoy the rest of the show here and see what they do. Hold on. Notice he's triggered. Is this the behavior of a shake? Yeah, no, ladies and gentlemen, they teach, they teach, they teach, notice how they're misbehaving, they're losing the debate, and that's why they're behaving like this, 
word. They're losing liar. the debate. Don't liar. say the word. Stop my time over. Stop my time. No, no, stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running, Shake. You should do better. You should do better. It's your mother. Okay, right now, this looks like a bunch of kids in the schoolyard and they're having an argument. Literally, like a bunch of kids in the schoolyard and they're arguing over something stupid like. This team is better than that team, and this player is better. Why is that player better? What? Fuck you, man. Pow! You know, and then they're going to go at it because, I mean, that's what happened back in, like, you know, when you were in school. Not even high school. Let's go back to elementary school. That's about how far back this goes. This is why I can't understand. It's like, you know, everybody talks about Christ being such a lovely, compassionate person and Muhammad being so peaceful. But how do these, how do they get to this point here? It's like we're in that whole, on both sides, do they have to come to this point where he's being an, an asshole and the next one is being an asshole and together they're being ignorant assholes? I just don't get it. It's like they, they changed the entire meaning of both Christianity and Islam. You guys have to be able to see that regardless of who you think is right and wrong. This is just not the way. But um, anyway, let's let's see. What I wouldn't insult your mother. I wouldn't insult your mother. I wouldn't insult your mother. I say shame on your prophet for insulting Allah, for insulting God. That's what you do. Did I not tell you guys this is becoming a an elementary uh, school battle in the schoolyard? Uh, schoolyard battle. So it's an elementary schoolyard battle between a bunch of kids who obviously are adults, but they're acting like children. And they're like, you insulted my mother. I did not insult your mother. Yes, you did. That's usually what happens when you get really angry and you want to hit someone. Right before you hit them, you find a reason. And usually if you make yourself believe that they insulted your mother, you'll, you'll be able to put that fist right up and pop. You know? And I think that's what the shake is doing at this point because he's got his finger pointed right here now and he's like getting aggressive. You can see this now. I found right now I sound like I don't know if you watch active self protection where they talk about like when people get violent. I kind of sound like that now. Right now before he attacks, he's using his finger pointing in the direction the fist the fist is going to go. <laughs> so right now he's as they say he's hurling in, in, they're hurling Ill insults at each other guys. Everybody else the reason that everybody else is in that crowd right now and very adamant about being there and listening is that right now they all know that someone is going to is going to blow up into something much bigger than this that's why they're all there if this was something peaceful no one would be there i can tell you this is like wwf or wwe everybody likes action you know everybody loves action nobody wants to sit there with some guy meditating it just doesn't work it's not that exciting to watch some guy sitting still you know so <laughs> you know the more you talk shit the bigger this gets. Obviously, maybe Christ was a big shit talker is why he had such a great following. I don't know. No disrespect meant to the Almighty if that's him at all. You know, but I just want to say that if this is how they look at Christ, they're kind of projecting this idea that Christ walked around like WWE and started, you know, uh, a frenzy and a mob just to get his points across, which I doubt. I really doubt that, but I'm just saying it just it's really funny to watch. So notice he thinks it's okay to say that Christians insult Jesus. But he says it's not okay for me to point out that Muhammad insults Allah. It wasn't me that taught Allah as a capricious and fickle God. It was Muhammad. It wasn't me that taught Allah. He was a capricious and fickle God. Jesus it was already. the Sheikh. You said, I don't insult and the you. Sheikh, I will pray to Allah. whose I mother you. didn't teach him any manners. Uh, His mother yeah. that didn't teach him about. Okay, now we got it clear, crystal clear. He is talking about his mother. Okay, now look at the looks in their eyes now. They all just went from looking amused to, okay, you're going to get the shit kicked out of you now. Now you've become the sacrificial lamb and i think this is what really happens in christianity they take the sacrificial lamb idea the wrong way the lamb itself did not put itself in that position okay <laughs> most lambs that got sacrificed didn't be like meh kill me they didn't walk into a place and start acting like an asshole and say okay go ahead slip my throat and kill me and eat me or whatever the hell they do when they sacrifice lambs if christ did that in the way that these guys did well 
it's kind of hard to go against the idea that you'd want to like you know beat the hell out of that person if they came there and started talking shit like that you know, and I'm just being honest, just being human nature. I love Christ, and I love Prophet Muhammad as well. And I think that they're they're both amazing beings. But these people do not represent those great beings. They just don't. You know, I, I guarantee you this will not turn out to be a miracle. It's not going to turn out to be anything else. But what we know is WWE in the house, man. You know, this is going to be the World Wrestling Federation or whatever the hell it's called now. <laughs> you know, and Hulk Hogan and all these guys should be here. And take part in this. Maybe The Rock. This is where I see The Rock and Hulk Hogan. If they Imagine if The Rock and Hulk Hogan were like, uh, let's say The Rock became Muslim and Hulk Hogan became a Christian. And they started arguing back and forth. Like, that would be something to see because a lot of people have this tie-in with religion and fighting and uh, WWE. Imagine what that would be like. Damn. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, not interrupting did your mother, his mother, your mother didn't did your teach mother him teach you about keeping Jesus? his word. Did your mother ah, teach his you mother Jesus? that taught did him mother to call did, other mothers did your mother son teach you of to get a Jesus? Did your mother That's teach what his mother Jesus taught him. Shame on you. Your he mother falls. His mother and the taught reason him. why he his falls him to is Jesus. because Muhammad has failed him. Like, honestly, I wish that God would intervene at times like this. And light, and they would strike between that these two people right here, and just blow the shit out of all of them. And then they'd both stop and realize, wait a second, the fuck, are we arguing about? God just just uh, you know, laid down a bolt here, like Thor, <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, and then they'd probably both claim it. That's my God that brought the, the thunderbolts. And then Thor would walk out and be like, I am Thor. I belong to no one. You know. <laughs> And then the Avengers would show up and beat the shit out of everyone. I don't know. Look, look, I believe in God. You know, I, I just get sick and tired of seeing these people. They're just, they're just as dumb as the uh, angry black uh, uh, Negro lights or Hebrew lights, whatever the hell they call themselves. You know, I mean, I could see. The, I don't know why the angry black uh, Hebrew lights don't come here to whatever speaker's corner or whatever this is. Because you know why? If they, if they came here, they would definitely have a fight going on, especially if they meet up with the Muslims. The Muslims are aggressive as hell. The Christians are just fucking annoying. They're just annoying assholes. The Muslims are very aggressive and they react to everything. Imagine if you get the angry black Hebrew Hebrews in there, Hebrew lights uh, in there, and what that would be like. You talk about real fireworks, man. Somehow I gotta organize that. Just like uh, what's his name? Don King organized the biggest fights with Muhammad Ali and uh, uh, George Foreman, uh, like the like uh, you know he did that fight. I guess it was in in uh, Africa. I'm gonna I'm gonna organize fights between religions here and and have it go down just like Don King and try to make some money off the shit. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Okay, let's let's see what this goes to. Muhammad has failed him. He's run from the debate. Your religion failed you. have run from the debate. He has run from the debate. Listen, listen, listen. Did you hear a defense of my argument against the Quran? Yes, yes, sir. Put your hand up if you heard him answer my question. No one, not even the Muslims, raised their hands. No one. Not even the Muslims raise their hands. Why do you speak no to one's me? running away speak from you. Speak to me. Let's talk then. Okay. So, he said, now let's you. ask, he said, answer the question. But I insult Why Jesus. did Muhammad teach the... Don't, don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Keep your hand. Hey, hey. Back off. Oh my God! Did you guys see that? We 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 have to watch that again. Hold on, <laughs> that shit looked pretty devastating there. Like he took a, a hard blow there just now. That was not good. No one, not even the Muslims raised their hands. Why do you speak? No one's running away from you. Speak to me. Let's talk then. Okay. So he said, no. Let's ask. Answer the question. But I insult you. Why did Muhammad teach? Don't, don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Keep your hand. Hey, hey. Back off.
Okay, so before, I, I just want to point something out. I, I always point these things out because they're important. Before you look to blame the sheikh on getting angry, remember, he's an elderly man. Ask yourself, if, if an elderly man came up to you and pushed you, would you try to push him back? Or would you turn around and say, excuse me, you're an elderly man, and I'm a Christian, and I believe in Christ, so I will not push you back. I'll turn the other cheek. So this is where this 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 Christian, the so-called Christians, you know, this is probably why they don't like my videos, because I point out the bullshit, the hypocrisy. Even Christ himself would have wanted to put his foot inside one of these Christian guys' assholes. Why? Because he didn't turn the the other cheek you know and then like i said i don't blame the other men for jumping in front of him when the christian actually pushed him back that hard he actually just put his arm in front of him the old guy to kind of like just stop him from moving forward because he was standing there and this christian guy actually you know pushed him and when he did that this younger gentleman does have the right to jump in and step in regardless if it was the opposite way around and it was an older christian man the Muslim and the Christian, whoever's there at the moment, should have intervened because there's something that supersedes all this arguing bullshit. The man is elderly. If he got pushed and fell down at his age, he could lose his life. He could be crippled. That's the difference, guys. So, you know, I hate to, you know, I hate when people make all these bullshit uh, excuses and like even the title of this, Sheikh Losing Debate Gets Violent. Dude, elderly fucking man okay loses debate and christian man gets fucking violent that's how this goes down you know and i'm glad that people were there to stop this guy from pushing him any further imagine who he would like i said what would have happened if he fell you know but you know luckily there's such a thing as karma and he got his ass put on the floor and that means that the muslims win this one i'm just kidding guys <laughs> there's a bunch of angry christians now god damn it the Hindu guy, get him. Let's kick his ass. That's right. I'm known as the pissed off Hindu. They call me TSP, the spiritual philanthropist, Rav Shiva. And if I was there in that debate, man, let me tell you, there'd be some fireworks there. Because I'd have us all meditating on the ground and no one would be saying anything. I'd just be like, inhale and exhale and then pass it to the left. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, let's take a closer look at this again and see what's going on. So guys, I think I've had enough of this entertainment here, but I just wanted to point that out, the hypocrisy that goes on in a lot of these uh, debates where the people just don't, you know, when you argue about religion, you lose sight of, of what's there right in front of you, an elderly man. And like I said, regardless if he was Christian, Muslim, or Hindu, or atheist, or whatever, an elderly man is an elderly man. Guys, grow the fuck up, both of you. You're lucky I'm not there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But, uh, guys, look, I'm going to leave you with that. And, uh, like I said, they're lucky that the angry black uh, Negro lights aren't there because they probably end up with some real fisticuffs going on. But, anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you're enjoying what I do. I try to bring a little bit of lightheartedness if I can. Some things you really can't do that with. But when I do see things like this that makes me kind of crack up, I will, you know, have a little bit of fun with it. Guys, stay safe. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video, all right? Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and you'll get a lot more content. I promise you that. All right, guys. Talk to you. See you then. Bye-bye.